Martha Lynn, thank you so much for having us in your studio and checking out all of your wonderful pieces here behind us. So how did you get into millinery to begin with? So I studied fine art in Dunleary and I focused on sculpture in college. Okay. And after college I worked for an architect and then during the recession I was made redundant but had done a millinery course in the Grafton Academy. I wanted to take time off from the architecture so I went to London, spent two months with Philip Tracy and a month with Stephen Jones. Amazing, so how did you get that time with Philip Tracy? I would imagine it's really difficult. I just pestered. <laughs> lots of emails, lots of calls and yeah went over for an interview and yeah then I loved it and stayed for a little while. This is one of your beautiful pieces, but like how do you even begin to make something like this? Like the base, that, like how do you even do that? So each of the bases is made on a wooden block. Okay. And the blocks come in all different sizes, so every time you see a different shaped hat, it's made on a different shaped mold. Right, okay. That's just taken off the block, and okay. I'll show you how we even get to that stage. Okay, perfect. So you, you get your cinema, and you spray it. And you pin it. So you pin it into position. I see. And there's lots of pinning going on. So we do this all the way around and I normally do three to four layers. So <clears throat> that's one layer on and you'd iron it and then you'd put on two more layers and, and do the same. So how long would that take you then overall? Like a few hours? Uh, well, you could do it in like, I don't know, half an hour, an hour. Wow, okay. And then, but you'd iron it in between and then you'd let it dry overnight. Okay. And then... Here's the one you did earlier. Here's the one we did earlier. Cool. So then you'd take out the pins. It kind of bounces back into shape. Just fixing, you kind of have to reshape it a little bit here. So now we've kind of trimmed it, so the shape is right, but we need to get the colour right. Yeah. So How do you get the colour right? We spray it. Amazing. So when they're spray painted and dry, you get like this inside, which is an elastic. It just makes it, it finishes it off. We'll pin this all the way around, and I've started sewing it here. And then we'll put the label on. Uh huh. And here's one I did earlier. I love it. Very cool. So we could have a hat with a lovely silk flower and oh, a quill. Wow. Or we could have these guys, which are kind of fun and exciting. So this is the fun part, right? Yeah. This is the exciting part. Okay, this let's is like look at decorating, oh. kind of accessorizing. I mean, what is this? So this is a quill, and here is a pink one. Yeah. And so that's the spine of a feather. So for doing. this hat, I'm going to make one like the black one. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm going to attach this here. Yeah. And then I'm going to put this flower here, like that. It's so beautiful. And then I will sew those on, and it will end up looking like that. Gorgeous. And so what? This is silk, did you say? So that's a silk flower, and this is a lovely, really bright pink, which I love. Very I think cool. it suits you. You think so? Mm hmm. Take I think down. you should wear one every day. I think I should wear one every day on Tutu. It would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm still